Good morning. Do you know what I've done this morning? I fed all the cows without the wagon breaking down. I cannot tell you how happy that makes me. And I can't remember the last time that happened. But yeah, the fix that we did to the wagon by moving the conveyor across uh, is just absolutely spot on. There's nothing for it to go wrong, I don't think, as of yet. Um, I'm probably going to jinx that immediately. But from the last, last night, we've had a little bit of food out with it. This morning, I fed all the trough up there, which is the one we were struggling with, without the elevator, without spilling any on the floor, without chucking any into the scrape passage, and without anything breaking. And I can't tell you how happy that makes me. So tick there for Bowman and his idea about moving that across. Anyway, today, we're going to play with these. These are the tires for big boots. The rears there. These are the fronts for big boots down there. And then there's two fronts for the Fergie over there. So first of all, thank you to everyone who has commented on the video of us trying to change that tire um, with all your tips and tricks about how to get the tire to re-bead itself or reseal. Um, the one that we didn't try was the grease and we'd never heard of that and put grease in there. Um, so we'll, we're gonna put those on and if it goes wrong, we will try that. But from what I understand, people are saying to just lather grease in against the rim so it seals. Somebody also said the rim looks slightly bent, but I can't see that it's bent. I don't know. Anyway, that is today's job. I've got a couple bits of paperwork I need to do first, and then we're gonna crack on with that. Exciting day. So only one place to start here, and it's to take off the tire that's given us so much trouble. Forget how many times we've done this now. One times new tire. Maxim Agri Extra 65. Somewhere here it tells us home, right there. 650 65 R38. It says it up here as well. Like for like replacement. If this doesn't go on, we can blame our tools. Look at this. Nice clean workshop. Tidied it all up after the hell of a mess we caused in here yesterday. More grips. That's what we wanted. Stage one complete. We got this far with all the other tyres. Well, we got a bit further, didn't we? We did. Yeah, we got we a bit on there, but... Nice new rubber, very tight. Mole grips on. John's going to make light work of just slipping the rest of it over the rim. All grips are doing their job very well. Holding it in place there. Booty! Here he is! Well, that's a bit simple as connect the air up and the way he goes. We think we're winning. Well, it's a hell of a lot quicker than the last one. Yeah. You probably can't see it on the camera, but the bead is moving. Out. This never sealed last time, did it? Yeah, yeah. nobody got that anywhere near close. What are we looking like on the inside? Oh, we're on! Yeah, the jack's loose. Yeah, take, you take the jack out and take, let the air out the top of the thought so that was done. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Success! <laughs> Didn't mention earlier, but Will was here from Mason's Kings giving my tractor a service today. So having all the filters done, engine oil, back end oil, full service essentially. Oh, what a thing. Yes. Look at that. Ready to tear into some ruts in some very soft ground. I'm gonna disassemble the uh, link yeah. arm again. Hear it popping out? Yeah. Sometimes they go back. Yeah, that's the inside of the tyre going onto the rim. Just under 20, about 18. Right. Leaving it at that. So you've got a maximum seating pressure, it's like 30 psi or something like that. Right. So if you're not there yet, you don't want to. Nice. Tyres are expensive. Yes. That's, that's but look at it. <laughs> They're the size of the How much were they? Um, 
890? A peak. Yeah. Box wheels and tyres. Yeah, there we are. I think we, I think we spent four and a half thousand on a whole set for this okay. and a front set for that. Which isn't too bad for six tyres, I don't think. No. Very reasonably priced tyres. Yeah. Yeah, we've used them. Very reasonably priced tyres. <laughs> yeah. No commission. No commission. But look at that, sports fans. Yes. Oh, we should have done that last week. How many times did you turn that bloody tyres on? Four or five. Well, we tried. Okay. We tried all assortment of those three tyres over there. None of them worked. So moving on to this one. Right, the bead breaker is out. I'm wondering, you know where it wouldn't met, where, where it wouldn't seal? Yes. I'm wondering if I did that up too tight and bugged the rim. Ah, I don't know. People have hydraulic versions of these, but this one seems to work better, doesn't it? Have you got a hydraulic one? We have, but they don't work very well. No, that's what I mean. Yeah. The ones that people use that are tyre fitters professionally are probably a lot of money. Gotta go jacking. There we have it. Rapid deflation. You recovered from doing the last one now. Ready to go again with this one. Well, it's because the other one's sealed. Yeah. Full of. The adrenaline's up. Renewed. Vigor. Yeah. That one nearly had my pants on. Butter him up. Going further than that's it. Do you mind getting your um, magic? Go on. Number two's going on. Right, a brief interlude from tyres for a second. Me and Joe are going on a road trip Monday, so we've got the flatbed trailer out, which we need to do a bit of work to. Now this threaded bar here holds the jack up in the air um, when you're towing, but you know how well you can see on camera, he's bent. Which makes him incredibly difficult to wind in or out. I want to try and just find a bolt, the same thread width and pattern. Look at that, it's probably bent. But I can't find one. The right size, which is upsetting me greatly. Right, it defeated me. I can't find a bolt the same size. It's a weird thread pattern and it's a weird size. So what I did was I put the bent one back in, put a massive spanner on the end and leveraged it around. So that's solid now. Anyway, back to tyres. I'm struggling with this one a little bit. Loads of you mentioned grease. So we're packing where we think the air is coming out with grease to see if that works. Whether we're doing it correctly or not, I don't know. But We'll soon find out. We're at the scene of a cop fight. Go on, get them. Uh, they're all mouth, no trousers. This is boring. Right, this tyre's being an absolute moron. Mind your head with grease. Yeah. Was it bath night? Oh, it could be. Yeah, yeah. The only thing we haven't done is pack a load of grease on the inside. So we're going to take the tyre off this side, put it across, pack a load of grease on the rim, pack a load of grease on the bead of the tyre. And try again. That'll be as much as we do, ain't it? We've actually got nice weather for us. Right, we've lubed everything up. Including me. Including John, look at him. Lubed up, ready for action. <laughs> and it is, it's moving. Look at it. Flying on there. Absolutely flying on there. Inside's all on. Where's your pot that we use? Right. Over here. Yeah. We just got a grease cartridge and a paintbrush. Smeared all the inside. And he's now I'm sure I've seen tyre fitters previously who've had 
grease-like substance. That isn't grease. That isn't grease, that doesn't get you... Like that. ...covered in grease. Mm. I mean, this has worked fantastically well. Yeah, so there's a few people that said it in the comments, weren't there? Yeah. So we do listen to the comments. Because look at it. Um, oh, we listen to some I of wonder if you get grease, a tire for the nice. No, no, don't do that! <laughs> Are you going to do that now routinely? No. You're going to end up like that? Yes. I've even put my Big Boots shirt on today, look, in preparation for Big Boots getting back on the road, but I don't think it's going to be today. Well, not whilst I'm here anyway, I've got to go in there. If you'd like to do them, that'd be great. I might do. <laughs> you keen? What do you reckon you yeah. Do something with that. <laughs> Old loop hands here. The cable time. Well, it says about 17, but the needle's bent. Alright. I want a bit more, yet. Yeah? About 20, don't we? Well, I call that a success, John. Well, so far. So far, so good. If you can see that, we've got a bent needle in our air gauge. How you do that, I've got no idea. Fixings! Fixings, fixing stuff. Do right, that's good. I've got the valve ready? No. Oh, I'll do that. I've got nothing really. You've got luby hands. Yeah. So, I might go and take my tyre levers and wash them off, or clean them off. Wash them? Along with my hands. Here we go, sports fans. Beautiful. Awesome. So there we are, there's the two rears on. She's looking good. The old chunky new tyres. That will transform that tractor. So I don't know if I said earlier, I think John mentioned it. These came from Brock's wheel and tyre. Um, that's who we deal with for tyres. Always very good. Delivered to the door. Oh, he looks good, John. Is he still on the jack? He is, yeah. yeah. Look around this side, he's not on the jack. Oh, he looks good, John. He does look good, doesn't he? Right, next problem. Uh, this calf has decided the shed is not for him. And he's going to stand there and lick concrete instead, you concrete licker. What do you reckon? I'll head him off to the way. You right, cows? You're behaving. You're not, you've got a thing in your nose. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say, we finished carving, didn't we? Now all carved up. Had a nice little Hereford heifer calf to finish with. The last few seem to avoid that E. coli trouble we're having as well. Here's Alfie. You right, Alf? You're in your little pen, aren't you? Because you kept breaking out next to cows. Mischief. Anyway, I said to John, I'd be around in front of this calf. Do you know what pen, John? That end one. Oh, that's right. Look at this, no mess this morning with the feed wagon. Yeah, mum's in there, isn't she? Oh, there we are. Everyone's back. Some of you might go out next week. Look at the leaking milk. I know. That, if, that, if that is our calf. We got the good footwear on for this job. What have you done with your calf? Yep. Here he is, he's 2115. Yeah. He's 2115. Oh, you're just triple checking? Yeah. That's a good idea. All right, come on in, monster. You've been in the wrong pen all day. Do you know how we know it's been in the wrong pen all day, John? Earache from that cow balling yeah. all day. Right, calf, there you go. Ooh. Yep, come on. Come on. Hooray! Well, that's good work, John. I'm gonna go clean my feet. Look at this, my nice angled boots as well. Oh. I know, I didn't I didn't spill any. Didn't spill any, you haven't shoveled any out. Now I need to apologize to you guys because I've been rubbish at ending videos recently. Um, there's just been a lot going on. Um, on the farm and also uh, off the farm in my own life. I've got some very exciting stuff. I can't share with you yet, but I'll share with you very soon um, some quite big news. Um, I'm currently sat here in the lambing office. Um, I'm on a bit of a lambing night shift tonight. <coughs> um, you will see a video of that soon, hopefully. There's not been a lot going on, but there has been some stuff to see. Uh, I'm currently sat here watching Chris, better known as the super serious farmer on YouTube, just watching his uh, lambing videos as they're going. I'm working my way through all my subscriptions, so um, plenty of stuff to keep me interested. I got my laptop as well, so I'll probably do a bit of editing in a minute too. Uh, this is the bad thing about sitting in a lambing office. I've eaten a whole tube of Pringles. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. We're gonna get the front tires on that track that hopefully uh, in this coming week. Uh, it's gonna look absolutely sick. It's gonna look so good. If you could, give the video a thumbs up, that would be incredible. If you're not subscribed, 
then do it. It's free, doesn't cost you anything, helps me out loads. Uh, it's just a great way to support the channel. Yeah, we'll see you in another video very soon. Cheerio.